action. Honey, I am home. Okay. Did y'all know, notice anything? We got a new couch and I can't get over it. I'm almost embarrassed that I'm so excited about this couch, but it's just so comfortable. So we're going to get very cozy tonight. If this is your first time here, welcome to Game Changers X Pod. I'm your host, Siobhan Elise. Game Changers is your number one entrepreneurial wellness podcast where we go beyond the boring practical steps of business and into what it's really like to live this life so honestly um we are having a very free flowing type of episode today for the life of me I could not come up with anything that I wanted to talk to and instead of forcing it because I could have forced it um, I really said, God, you know what, just use me as your vessel. Like, just just use me, whatever you want to say. So I actually thought it would be kind of cool to open this up with a little bit of Q&A. So impromptu, I requested my wonderful partner and producer, Sheba, ask me some questions. I don't know what he's going to ask. I don't know what he's going to ask, but... Well, okay. let me let me know when you're ready. Okay. I'm not used to answering questions, guys. Just gonna throw it out there. So don't judge too harsh. I'm okay, ready. Okay, so today everybody know that I'm big on relationships. <laughs> relationships. Now, a lot of your viewers, you know, they may not have said it. But they might be very interested in your relationship life. So My relationship. I'm gonna start off like, you know, just asking that question. Um, single, married, engaged, <laughs> friendship. <laughs> you know, give us what status you on right now. We want to know the status where you at. That's Watch what y'all want to know. Okay. I am happily the happiest I've ever been. Single. Yeah. I'm single. Okay. Um, I have a question for you. Um, how how you do that? How you be happy while being single? How you do that? <laughs> A lot of people want to know how you do that right there. That's actually a really good as question. As a woman, as a woman, how you do that? Happily single. Okay, so being happily single, first I had to learn how to enjoy my own company. And I was in this new season in my life where so many things were transitioning And especially since getting closer to God, like I was becoming like a new woman in Christ. And some of the things that I was interested in, I wasn't interested anymore. So I really just dove into discovering who I was in this new season. And I didn't need like anyone's company for that journey. I just enjoy finding out what I like and enjoying the freedom of making decisions and moving without having to consider someone else. And it's just been very peaceful. It's been very insightful. And I don't know. I'm super happy about it. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I want to ask a question. Um, What qualities that you're interested in seeing in a man that might be a suitor for you? He has to be submitted to God, which is different from believing in God. This is someone who truly, truly demonstrates that he trusts God with every aspect of his life because that's just where I am. He has to be a man of his word. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. So spiritually, what status he have to be on? What do you mean spiritually with status? Well, you just kind of said it. Believe in God. No, he got to be submitted. Like Submitted. Go ahead. I want him to talk to God before he talks to me in the morning. 
Like, I want him to go to God before he goes to anything. I want him to live by what the word of God says, because that's the way that I'm living my life. And that's the only way I can truly, truly submit to him. Well, well, let's get it straight. We're talking about God or the Bible, right? Yes. All right. You know, you got to make that Yahweh, clear. Yahweh, Elohim. Okay. We Yahshua. Talk about Yahshua. Okay. Yes. Okay. We just want to make it clear because, okay. you know, I mean, it's a lot of guys, you know, that God is the car. <laughs> that God is, no, 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 no. You know, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure, you know. Yahshua. Okay. Yahweh, Elohim, okay. God of the Bible. All right. Great, great. Okay. So his his spiritual standards need to be that that you said. How 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 what about his mental status? Um, woo, mental status. I mean, we can never be perfect, right? But he does have to have uh, an optimistic or open mindset. Um, I want someone who is that that still has room to grow. I think as long as we're here on Earth, there's always more for us to learn. So it it is important that his mindset isn't too fixed on what he believes, because obviously when you get in a partnership with someone, you become a new thing. So I do need some flexibility and agility. Um, when it comes to that, um, but overall, as long as he's just like an optimistic person and and really has um, like a visionary mindset, someone that's able to visually see and believe in the thing that God has called him into, um, I could I could work with that. And just all jokes aside, all jokes aside, can he be suffering from mental illness? So, my that's preference? That's a deep question. That's a deep That's, that's a, deep a good question. question. I, no, your preference. We only talk about your preference. Yeah, no. Nah. Your preference. I mean, I will say this. I would not knowingly choose someone with mental illness unless God really, 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 really came to me and said, you know, this is. Your ministry. Yeah. It would have to be, a, I would have to be anointed. A punishment. No, I'm just like, <laughs> right. no, but let's not laugh about that. We, I, don't get it wrong. We're not yeah. laughing about mental illness. But people that's with just mental joke. illness do, like, deserve partnership. So right, there's right, nothing right, wrong right, with that. Right, right. But I would have to be anointed to do that for sure. Okay. Now, we got his mental status. We got his spiritual status. Now let's move to his financial status. Mm-hmm. What that looks like. So, um... I don't like to give a number, but I will say that financially he needs to be in the mindset to provide. Like, I do not want him like, oh, well, I got 50, you got 50. I'm not a 50-50 girl. Not a 50, that's not what the Lord says. Well, let me ask you, what if you have the mindset but no cash? No, he has to have the cash to provide. Oh, yeah. so the mindset and the cash. It's a man should got to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cash set. <laughs> <laughs> if, so, it's, if it's still low, then holler at me later. <laughs> right, right. So he got to have the mindset and the cash set. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, you prefer a man nine to five or businessman? Um, or both? I'm okay with both. I'm okay with both. I think nine to five guys get a lot of slack, uh, and and they don't always deserve it. Everyone who works a nine to five doesn't mean that they have a limited lack mindset. I've met some people who are really creating a a massive amount of impact through their jobs that are nine to five. So I will not count out a nine to five guy. Um, and I can't even say that I like prefer an entrepreneur either because I am a single mother. So I do value stability and I understand that being with an entrepreneur, you don't always get that man in the house every night. So I'm open to both. Right. Yeah. So it, do you prefer a man, if he's a nine to five man, nine to five guy, also have the mindset 
of a business individual so that he can understand your business if you choose to be in business. Yeah, it's really important that he not only understands like my business acumen, but also is secure in that, you know, because some men don't believe that or don't want their women doing too much outside of the house. And the reality of me being in business is I do have male associates. I do engage with a lot of different people and he has to be secure enough in himself and our relationship to, to handle that. Right. I'm, I'm thinking that that first status um, on the spiritual side should cover that. If he's really in God, he should know that jealousy is not an option yeah. in a real relationship. So now tell me and tell the people that's listening to your fans, shout out to um gamers. What's up, gamers? What's up, gamers? Y'all got I, me good today, child. I want you to I want you to tell your gamers um three things good about yourself. Three Not things. Not that you're bragging, good. but you know, you you ain't bragging. You got that's confidence. So yeah. don't get it twisted. Three things. Three things good about myself. Um oh I think I, I carry such a spirit of joy and um like a lightheartedness to me that I think is a really strong trait to have. You know, being an entrepreneur, being a single mother and having gone through life just like you have, like life can chip away at you and and sow all type of seeds um that take away from your light. And I'm really proud of the fact that I've never allowed any challenge or circumstance to dim my light. I still show up. I can laugh. I can be silly. You know, I can spread love. That's one of my favorite things about me. That sounded like three or four things. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Listen, I told y'all this season is all about self-discovery, so I know myself at this point. <laughs> we see. Um, so since that was three or four, I'll give y'all one more. <laughs> okay, let's take it. Um, one more thing that I like about myself is, mm, I'm gonna say this, but like I'm really, really loyal. Like I'm really incredibly loyal. That's, in, that's including in relationships? Yeah, all across the board. Like, if I meet someone and we connect and I trust someone and I believe in what they're doing, this goes for friendships, business relationships, regular relationships, I'm the type that will ride until the wheels fall off. I'm going to cheer for you when nobody else does. Like, I think that's a cool trait to have. Oh, that's 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 awesome to have. That's awesome to have. Now, yeah. let us... I got another question for you. Now, we heard the type of man that, not that you're looking for, that mm -hmm. the, the qualifications, basically. We're just going to call it qualifications. Now, have any guys approach you that has all those qualifications? Or that's hard to find? I don't think it's hard to find, but the answer is no. I haven't met any one man that had all of them um but i think i just haven't found well he hasn't found me yet right okay i, I can agree with that yeah because it's the man that finds a woman finds a good thing mm -hmm. right okay so your king out there he's coming Come now on. we got that out of the way you don't have to breathe too hard anymore <laughs> right um let's see what we want to know about you i tell you what give us Three game changing gems. Okay. About what? Anything? About anything in your life. In your life. In my life. In your life. What was give us three game changing gems over the course of your whole life to oh. get you to where you at now with the understanding of God and and all the knowledge that you have now yeah. spiritually yeah. and where you headed. Wow, that's a really good question. Number one, don't hold back on nothing. Um, and I say that to say sometimes 
we're like afraid to to do the things that are in our hearts, whether it's a good or a bad thing. And this coming from, you know, growing up, I was, uh, my mom would say I was a rebellious child. And um, although it got me in some trouble, because I was able to go all in to everything that I did, um, ultimately I got to see God on the other side of it. And it strengthened my relationship with God because I went all in when I wasn't with him and I saw the ugly, bitter truth of life without God. And that just made me stronger as a believer. So now when I speak to you guys or I I meet anybody on the street, I can testify God's glory with a level of experience and conviction because I went all in on everything. So don't, don't play scared. Yeah. Play to win. Um, number two, game changing gym is take heed to wise counsel. Um, growing up, I was the oldest of three and I used to tell myself I learned from experience, which wasn't true. It was only true because that's what I told myself because I wasn't open to taking wise counsel when you don't have to go through everything the hard or learn everything the hard way if you be observant and take heed to wise counsel it is a cheat code like just just listen just you ain't gotta know everything um and the last thing And the most important, probably the newest thing I've learned is claim your life. Claim, claim everything that you see for yourself. I heard a a wonderful pastor, Lord, I wish I knew her name right now. And she said something that really resonated with me. She said, God takes us from faith to faith to glory to glory. And the difference between faith and glory is faith is you believe in it and you walking in it because you're believing it. And glory is you knowing that it is. And that's a different stride. That's a different approach. Um, Ever since I started really claiming things in my life, it's not only built my faith in God and deep in our relationship is put me in position to be more of a resource to everyone that he brings, you know, into my space. So yeah, yeah. Those are my three. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. So, you know, it's been nice joining you on game changers and I'm sure you gamers have learned a lot about Siobhan Elise. They have. A game changer host. <laughs> Until next time, when it comes to me, maybe I will see you again when I'm sitting on the couch. But yes. until then, I really enjoy your company. So if you would like to close. Yes, I would love to close. And you are an Please incredible do. host, by the way. Like, look at you. Come on now. Man of many hats. I try. I try. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, gamers. I hope you guys really enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. You know, it's funny. I can talk so much and you still not know a whole lot about me. So I'm I'm really happy that we got to answer some of the questions that you may have had. So to my gamers, of course, if you haven't already joined our gamer community, what are you doing? Okay, go ahead and subscribe make sure you like share and comment on this video and again share it with your entrepreneurial besties and community so they can get these gems too and of course special thanks to our sponsors here at boss nation network who also featured as my host for today look at that listen guys i cannot wait to see you guys next week thanks again for joining good night